Hi everyone, Olivia here. This week I'm going to be teaching you how to create your very own faux suede leather pacifier clip. So if you're interested in learning how, come along with me. So the cord I use is three millimeters wide and one and a half millimeters thick. It's super soft. I get it on a big spool. You can also order it in smaller quantities if you're just making one or two. Uh, yeah, I think this is a hundred feet. I order these off carasupply.com. I'll leave the link down below. And I'll also leave the link for an Etsy shop that I've ordered from so you don't have to buy so much. Suede leather cord isn't really meant to use um, one strand at a time. It's meant to be braided for some extra strength which is good because we are making a six strand pacifier clip today. So the actual pacifier clip hardware part, I just purchased off Amazon in bulk, but there's lots of different kinds uh, you can choose from. There's wooden ones, plastic ones, whatever you like. So I make these in a whole bunch of different colors. They're really practical, they're really strong, and they go with any outfit. If you're interested in purchasing one from me, I'll leave my Etsy shop link in the bio. And you also just need a dab of glue at the end uh, just to keep the knots in place so they're not going anywhere. It's not gonna become a choking hazard. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is measure out my cord. For my pacifier clips, I use a length of, a starting length of 15 inches. So what I'm doing is just making sure here that I have six strands of 15 inches and on my last one what I'm gonna do is just leave it a little bit longer on the top there for the loop okay and then I'm gonna cut the ends here so I have loose ends at the bottom and at the top I have two small loops and a big one. So I have you a little bit closer here just so you can see better. So I'm gonna take my long strand, that's gonna be my top loop, and I'm gonna take my other two strands and have them laying on top of each other. I'm just gonna go through like that. So there. Okay. So I'm going to turn it over. Okay, so from here I'm going to be turning and pulling just kind of Tinkering with it here. And making sure it's going to lie flat. And from there, I'm just going to tighten. Okay, so as you can see there, the top fling pretty good, looks good. So after I've tightened it, you can see it's lying pretty good at the top and it looks good. So what I do is just go off one that I've made already and just get pull on the ends to make sure the loops are the same size. Okay, that looks good. So what I like to do here is I usually just clip it on my planner when I'm working with it and put something heavy on top of it so it doesn't slip around. So I'm just going to use my pacifier clip to attach it so I can work with it easier. String on the left, 
goes over the first one it goes under the second one string on the right strand on the right goes over the first one under the second one and then you have them in the middle and they cross don't worry about getting it too tight at the beginning here we'll just get a couple so again strand on the left over and under strand on the right over and under you have them in the middle they cross and now I like to kind of pull it and start getting it a little tighter here it is gonna look a little jumbled at the beginning just because we'll we're getting wider as we go okay so one more let's go over under strand on the right over under and cross okay now every time I make a row I like to give them a good pull and make sure it it really doesn't matter how hard or soft you're pulling on these, just make sure that it's the same every time or else your pacifier clip is going to be crooked. Okay, over, under the second one, strand on the right, over, under, have them in the middle, cross. Pull them tight. Okay, I'm gonna keep going and I'll show you how to finish it off. So what I'm doing here is I'm just going to measure off one I've made previously. So I start at the top, line up my knot, looks like I've got about two more rows to go. Let's finish those up. Tighten, left strand over, under, right strand over, under, and cross in the middle. Tighten up. Let's double check again here. Okay, that looks good to me. So the way I finish it off is you have your three strands on the left and your three strands on the right and we're just gonna do a simple braid to end those. The way we're going to finish off the top of the pacifier clip is take your clip, hold the back towards you, um, and hold the back of the knot towards you. So that's going to be our front, and that's the back. It's a little, a little messier. So hold the back towards you, and we are going to stuff everything from the front to the back of the clip. Okay, now push everything through like this. We're gonna pull it tight. This is pretty important part. You wanna get this as tight as possible or else you will have some gap in the front there. This just takes a bit of finessing and pulling. And try and have them not cross over each other. 
keep them beside each other. It'll look nicer. Okay, that looks pretty good. There's no noticeable gap there. And you also just want to make sure that it's coming off the clip straight. If it's at an angle, it'll look funny. Okay, we're gonna flip it around to your front side. And you're gonna take your one strand, your braided strand, here, and we're gonna bring it around the back of the clip to the front. Looks like that. And then you're gonna put it through the loop and give it a pull. You're gonna do the same for the other side. Put everything through the back of the clip. And through. Just wanna make sure that it doesn't get twisted as you're doing this. And pull it through. So that's what it looks like on the front. So this is when you're gonna tighten it up. And you're gonna be pulling your knot as you can towards the other side like that we'll do the other side you're gonna be pulling your knot as tight as you can towards the other side so here we go they kind of they kind of cross over each other like that you're gonna take a dab of glue and just put a little bead in where the knots meet each other here. Not very much, just a little bit. We're gonna let this dry. Shouldn't be long. Be right back. people here if you enjoyed the video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more if you have any questions let me know down below and I'll be sure to answer them okay thanks guys bye